Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Today, we're doing a view on this WWE large scale Seamus figure. He was made by Mattel in the year 2014. Now we can take a closer look at the, doll, the figure's box. You can see it's very good resemblance of Seamus. Look, you can tell is how he looks and it looks exactly like him. On the top right hand corner of the box is the WWE logo. And on the bottom of the box is, is a picture of Seamus. Although it's Nikki used to better pick of him and his name, Seamus, and it's for ages six and up. You see it right there. And it has a picture of him making a pose. And it says that he is a highly posable figure. It is in three different languages, as you can see. And now I'm going to turn the box around. And as you can see on the Side of the box is a picture of the WWE sign, a picture of Seamus, and his name on the side of the box is on both sides, as you can see. And on the back of the box, it says that he is fully articulated. It is in three different languages. And it's a picture of the WWE sign, and the box shows Seamus whooping Alberto Devio in action. Seamus is whipping him, and on the bottom of the box, the pictures of the four of the wrestlers available in this land. This is John Cena, Sin Cara, Alberto DeVille, and Kane. There's an advertisement for WWE.com on the back of the box as well. And there's another side pick of Seamus. And on the top of the box is the WWE logo on it. And now I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show it to y'all. Okay, here's Seamus fresh out of the box. And I gotta tell you that he's a really nice looking figure and they, I think they get a very good job on him. And he stands about 12 inches tall. This is actually the exact same size as a Ken doll. Although he actually stands a bit shorter than Ken, about like 11 and a half inches tall, almost 10 inches tall. And now I'm going to show you the details of him up close. First and foremost, here's his face. It is very good job on him, except you should put the lights in his eyes. But then that looks like him. And now you're going to see his chest. And his arms do a good job of it. And you also can see his resting gear, which has the word Black Laosh on it. And you can see his armbands. And you're also going to see his knee pads and his boots. And now I'm going to show you the back of him. As you can see, they did a good job of him as well on the back. And you can see that his back is perfectly chiseled. You see his resting gear again. See? You also see his boots as well. And now I'm turning back around for you guys. And ironically, he's not as possible as the smaller figures are. As you can only pose him. And the shoulders. It meant. You can put on the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrist, but for some reason, the wrist does not pose or anything like that. And he's possible at the legs, at the knees, and that's it. I'll make him do a little resting interest for you guys. There you go. He's like he's ready to fight his enemy. It's not a great pose. Yes, it is. It's me, it's anyways. And now I'm about to show you the size comparison between him and an average smaller figure. Okay, Seamus, stay still. Perfect. And here's Seam Punk, who I reviewed 
earlier in the previous video and as you can see they look somewhat similar except for the obvious size difference and here's the back view of these two as well and I'm going to show you Seam Punk's backside because I forgot to do it in the previous video. Here is it right now. As once again, they did a very good job. And I'm actually proud of the job they did on these two figures. And once again, the reason I showed Seam Punk is because I do not have a small and shameless figure on hand right now. I'll have to get some, but I don't have one right now. And okay, I'll do Seam Punk. There you go. That's my view for the long scale series figure. He's about 12 inches tall. I recommend him for everyone. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace, love, and stay Bye.